These are dramatic pictures and not ones that Gibraltar wanted to wake up to. The bulk carrier OS-35 beached in about 17 metres of water, not far from Catalan Bay. The bow of the vessel was rested on the seabed last night and that was to try to prevent her sinking elsewhere in deeper waters. All 24 crew were safe this morning but they've had a night that they're unlikely to forget. As she manoeuvred to exit the bay en route to the Netherlands, OS-35 clipped the vessel Adam LNG in the Bay of Gibraltar. The Port Authority directed the OS-35 here to the east side in order to ensure that it could be beached. The initial collision in the bay happened shortly before 10 p.m. last night. Images started spreading on social media as the limping vessel arrived here in waters off Catalan Bay. My colleagues were here in the early hours to capture this footage, speak to eyewitnesses and provide updates. Well, we're here above Catalan Bay. It's about quarter to two in the morning. And as you can see behind me, the operation surrounding the OS-35 is ongoing. The flashing lights brought extra nervousness as onlookers worried about how the situation would play out. The crew on board and the supporting vessels brought some stability and it became clear an underwater survey would be required at first light to assess the damage. The first update came from the other vessel in the collision, the Adam LNG. The big tanker stayed in the bay as its damage was understood to be superficial. A closer look at its bulbous bow revealed the scars of its overnight encounter. The Adams crew have not reported any injuries and they confirmed there had been no water ingress. So clearly the OS-35 came off worse from the coming together. She's loaded up with steel but also with oil and diesel. 183 tonnes of heavy fuel oil, 250 tonnes of diesel and 27 of lube oil. And as we can see, assets were made available here in order to evacuate the ship if necessary. All Gibraltar agencies have been here just in case. A dive team was deployed by the Port Authority and has carried out an underwater inspection. The specialist team confirmed that the OS-35's bow is currently submerged 1.2 metres into the sandy seabed. There's also significant damage to the vessel's starboard side, including a big gash below the waterline, measuring approximately 10 metres by 4 metres. The crew were reporting no injuries and remain on board. Approximately 400 metres of boom was made available and we've seen it deployed this morning close to the vessel just in case there's an oil spill. Tugs are also here on the scene monitoring the situation. A notice to mariners was issued by the Port Authority with a 200 meter exclusion zone in place around the OS-35. The Port Authority had to suspend all operations for approximately four hours before it fully reopened this morning. And there has been some cooperation with the Algeciras port also with Salvamento Maritimo here on standby. We've filmed this late morning when the tide was very low. We're expecting it to go up by about a meter later today. And the scenes here just off Catalan Bay are anxious ones as the authorities work out what to do next with this beached bulk carrier.